Coming to you from the SCCBL headquarters in Palm Springs, California, I'm Andy Humphrey with this week's recap. We've now entered the final week of the regular season, and teams have started to solidify their spots in the SECBL playoffs. The San Diego Force retook first place in the standings after a sweep of the Orange County Riptide Tuesday and Wednesday. Meanwhile, the Palm Springs Power and Inland Valley Bucks split a two-game series at Palm Springs Stadium. Meanwhile, over the weekend, the Orange County Riptide got hot at the right time with two wins over the Palm Springs Power on Friday and Saturday and two wins over Team San Diego in a doubleheader on Sunday. Also over the weekend, the Inland Valley Pirates and Bucks split a doubleheader on Saturday. Finally, to start off the final week of the regular season, the Palm Springs Power and Inland Valley Pirates split a doubleheader on Monday at Cal Poly Pomona. Now we'll take a look at the SECBL standings where currently the San Diego Force hold first place at 13-4-1 in conference this year. Palm Springs Powers sit in second place with the Orange County Riptide behind them in third by just one game. Then the Inland Valley Pirates currently have a slight lead over the Bucks for the final playoff spot in the standings. The Power and Pirates will play their final two conference games here at Palm Springs Stadium on Tuesday and Wednesday. And while that's going on, a two-game set will happen between the Riptide and the Orange County Bucks. Then the San Diego Force will finish off their conference season with a game against Team San Diego Thursday and a game against the Inland Valley Bucks on Friday. After the teams have finished up their conference seasons, players from all six teams will be coming here to Palm Springs Stadium on Saturday for the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game against the Orange County Collegiate League All-Stars. That's it for your SECBL recap. I'm Andy Humphrey, and we'll see you before the start of the playoffs next week.